Welcome ladies and gentlemen to a new video and today we are going to review arguably the worst Mercedes car of the hybrid era the W13. That's right, I specifically chose Lewis Hamilton variant because I'm the world's biggest Lewis Hamilton fan. Alright, that's enough chit chat, let's get straight into this box shall we? We have a small little window at the opening right here and at this side we also have a small little opening as well. Spark logo on top and we have a spark logo on the back as well but this time it's just typed out. These boxing sections are going to be really short because we get the same box every time. Uh, lid comes off just like that. Like always, I'm still struggling to get this thing out of here. I have no idea what a better way to do this would be. All right, so here's the car right in front of us. And I have to say, if there's one thing I really liked about Mercedes's throughout the years, it's this teal blue color, you know? It fits perfectly with either black or silver. And I think it's just an amazing combination. Uh, and I think the Ineos red is starting to get really iconic with Mercedes. The W13 came out in 2022. And this was the first car to meet the regulations of ground effect, which was introduced in 2022. Uh, in 2022, they changed to silver once again, but now in 2023, they have an all black car. But this time it's not because of Black History Month or whatever. This time it's just to save weight with the exposed carbon fiber look. So let's start at the front, shall we? This front wing was actually pretty exposed with carbon fiber as well back in the day. Well, back in the day, previous year with this beautiful blue teal color, which I really like. Um, we have a couple logos on there. We have Patronus, Synthium, and all the way at the top, we have Team Fuhrer as well. Beautiful to see those gaps between the front wings. They really paid attention with this new wave of new cars, and I just can't praise them enough. I really like it, so very good job doing this with your 1 to 18 scale cars. Inside of the wing end plate, we have the Ineos Red, with the Ineos logo inside of it, of course. And on the outside, we have IWC logo. At the bottom there, a logo which I can't really read. So the nose stretches out pretty far in these 2022 cars, which I really like. All the way at the top, we have a Mercedes logo, Pirelli 150 years, CrowdStrike, which I believe is on the safety car, well, the AMG safety car as well, a CODIS and FTX. Just above that, we have once again the Patronus logo and at the sides we have two camera pods as well. If we take a closer look at this color this car has, so it's a really nice metallic silver, which I really like. You can really see the flakes on there too. All right, so let's go to the suspension. One thing I always notice with Mercedes is that they have incredibly thick and very flat suspension bars. Wheel brow looking really nice, which is the official term. Yeah, I've actually Googled it. It's called a wheel brow. And with this wheel brow, we also have that yellow accent on there as well. And with George's W13, that would be blue on his car. This car actually comes with the red tires, the red P0 soft tires. Let's take a close look at the front of the driver's cell. We have this number 44 in this yellow color, looking really nice. We have a wind and an antenna sensor as well. 360 camera, looking really nice. Above that, we have once again Patronus Synthium. And at the side of the driver's cell, we have a big AMG logo at the sides in black. Talking about the side of this car, I really liked this very long, well, it's not a Nike swoosh, but this very long swoosh of the Patronus teal blue. I really like how that accentuates the, um, the shape of the car. If we take a look at those side pods, we can see that they're basically non-existent. They actually went with a zero or side pod less design uh, in 2022, which they actually continued in 2023 as well. Actually, this car is not a bad race car but it's just a bad race car for Mercedes standards, which is a different thing. It delivered the first pole position of George Russell, which was in Hungary, and it also delivered his first race win, which was either the sprint race or the main race in Brazil. If Alfa Romeo would have produced this car, it would be the best car of Alfa Romeo, you know? So it's not a piece of garbage at all. Let's take a look at this halo, shall we? Actually, pretty rare to see a not carbon fiber exposed uh, halo. This is actually full on silver, which leads us to the driver figure. And I have to say, once again, a beautiful helmet he had in 2022. Uh, racing dew yellow kind of color. I'm not really sure what the right color would be. It's not green, it's not yellow, it's a little bit in between. Visor is actually a little bit see-through. They changed their car to the silver arrow once again, but their racing suit remained black for the 2022 season. Some separate seat belts there too, looking really nice. Steering wheel, once again, bloody perfect. Well, it's a generic one, but still doesn't matter. I have to say, which is what is pretty large on this specific car is actually those tiny little wings which attaches to the cockpit, if that makes sense. I'm not really sure what the right term is. And we can see the mirrors there too, looking really nice. And also some flaps on there too. Actually funny to see if we take a look at this engine cover, how flat uh, that actually is. Uh, right underneath the Ineos logo, it runs pretty flat actually. 
air scoop, air intake, whatever you call it. It's this beautiful Bordeauxish red with the Ineos logo once again. And I really like that they made this uh, TCAM actually yellow so it fits uh, the whole theme of the uh, racing number and helmet as well. At the side, we have a couple logos, uh, Team Viewer, Patronus. At the engine cover, uh, we see those very reflective stars of Mercedes. So what is kind of a shame to see is that they have these decals just put on the inlets without actually making a small cut in them. It's actually just put on those inlets. But yeah, they could have done that a lot better. In the very tiny shark fin, we have Patronus Primax and race number 44 in this beautiful yellow as well. Rear suspension looking really nice. Once again, those big bars of carbon fiber. Actually, pretty minimalistic bag. There's not a lot going on there like the old cars we reviewed. So all right, let's take a swing at this rear wing, shall we? DRS flap looking pretty nice. We have a Patronus logo on there too. Oh, uh, I'm not really sure how I feel about this uh, gap between the rear. Oh my God, look at that. That's terrible, look at that. All right, uh, anyway, uh, the front looks pretty okay. If you take a look at the back, there's actually a proper gap between the flaps, which good job, you should do that in every single car. I'm really proud of that. But look how they applied those uh, decals on there. They, they just don't seem to cut them to fit the groove. They just, you know, put them on there with the groove. So I have to say the quality control on this particular model is not the greatest. Why didn't they just cut the decal in half? That would have looked 10 times better. Inside of the rear wing, I have to say I really like the red color there. I really think that's really nice looking. Uh, we have this big bore exhaust, which is the same silver as the rest of the car. Yeah, once again, a big gaping hole at the back, which is actually the exit of the Venturi tunnels. Anyway, uh, that's basically the car itself. Comes in a nice little plaque as well. Uh, comes with the text. Mercedes AMG Patronus Formula One team number 44 W13 performance third Bahrain GP 2022 and the driver is Lewis Hamilton. If you take a look at the 2021 car and the 2022 car those changes are huge not only because of the ground effect but the color you know. Uh, the 2023 car would actually be a mix of both well not performance wise. <laughs> Favorite livery of Mercedes of all time would be this black one so it's pretty funny to see that actually in his career one of the best cars he drove and one of the worst cars he drove just a difference of one season because here he won his eighth world champion no just kidding he won seven i think it's another real nice addition to your collection of the 2022 cars um, in a very short period of time there will also be the special livery variant out there which had the special uh rear wing and i believe some front flaps on the front wing too so yeah that's basically lewis hamilton i really like your color combination you had in 2022 so yeah, let me know down below, do you like the stealth look of the 2021 season or do you like the very out there look of the 2022 season? Let me know down in the comments which one you prefer. I prefer this one. Um, so yeah, that's basically the video. I sincerely hope you enjoyed it once again. Thank you very much for watching. By the way, I woke up one morning and I realized we almost have 2000 subscribers. So I was kind of guessing, let me know again down in the comments if you think that's a good idea because every single week somebody comments under my videos, do a collection video, do a collection video. At 2000 subscribers, let's just do a uh, collection video then. Just for you, because I really couldn't care less about collection videos, but that's just my humble opinion. But if you like to see that video, please link it down below. I will do my best to make it. And we are going to do that at 2000 subscribers. Thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Um, that's basically it for today. So thank you very much for watching this video. And I hope to see you in the next video as well.